Out of all the countries on Earth currently, Turkey might be one of the fiercest towards Israel since the conflict with Palestine began. It's not just in 2023, but way before that Turkey has harbored significant sentiment against Israel. This was notably expressed in one of the speeches by Turkish President Erdogan. He clearly stated that he is not afraid of Israel, regardless of whether Israel possesses nuclear weapons or not. Israel, sende atom bombası, nükleer bomba var. Ve bununla tehdit ediyorsun. Bunları biz biliyoruz. Ve artık ecelin geliyor. İstediğin kadar nükleer bombaya sahip ol. Neye sahip olursan ol ama gidicisin. He even added that the end of Israel is near. Turkey's stance is not without reason, as the country possesses a formidable military force. In terms of military strength rankings in the Middle East, Turkey holds the first position, with Israel in the fourth, showcasing Turkey's superiority over Israel. One reason for Turkey's military edge comes from the presence of their special forces units. One such special force is the Özel Kuvvetli Komutanlı, or OKK, meaning the Special Forces Command. This unit was established on April 14, 1992 and plays a vital role in unconventional warfare. One of the military operations involving the OKK was their involvement in the Libyan Civil War, which led to a ceasefire. This force is recognizable by their distinctive maroon berets. In terms of armament, the OKK is naturally equipped with various sophisticated weapons and has some interesting facts associated with them. For example, their assault rifles include the American-made M4A1 and the Israeli IWI Teva Tar-21. They also use the FNP-90 light machine gun from Belgium. For unconventional military operations, they often employ sniper weapons, and the OKK uses the Barrett M82 from the United States. When recruiting, candidates must pass at least three tests, a written exam, physical tests, and a foreign language exam. After these, they begin a rigorous training program lasting 3.5 years. During this period, the candidates are directly involved in real unconventional warfare scenarios such as VIP protection, sabotage, and more. At the end of this training, they undergo the final phase known as Hell Month. In this phase, candidates endure months of intense physical and mental torture. One of the tests, known as the Trust Shot, involves two members holding a paper target. If they flinch, the 3.5 years of training they've undergone will be for naught. With such training, it's no wonder the OKK is recognized as one of Turkey's most renowned elite forces. Moving from the OKK, let's discuss another special force, the Su Alti Savunma SAS, meaning the Underwater Defense Unit. This unit, part of the Navy, was established in 1963. The SAS is distinctive with a unique logo featuring two divers riding a torpedo. The SAS is specially formed as Turkey's sole explosive ordnance disposal unit. Their responsibilities extend beyond the sea to defusing explosives on land. In addition to bomb disposal, the SAS also plays a role in amphibious assaults. They have been involved in several operations, such as the Tyleria War, Operation Attila, and Operation Peace Spring in 2019. For their missions, the SAS is equipped with impressive weaponry. Their arsenal includes Glock pistols from Austria, the MP5A3 light machine gun, the M4 carbine assault rifle from the United States, and the Barrett M95 sniper rifle, also from the United States. From the Turkish Navy, there now exists a special force known as Sualti Taruz or SAT, which translates to Underwater Assault Unit. As the name implies, the SAT's warfare is focused on conducting attacks. It is understood that these attacks primarily consist of stealth operations, sabotage, and raids across all fronts, whether on land, air, or sea. Historically, the SAT, established in 1963, has played a role in many battlefields. This includes Turkey's invasion of Cyprus in 1973 and the Olive Branch operation in 2019. The SAT was particularly prominent during the 2012 Sea Shield operation. 
This operation was a NATO joint mission aimed at rescuing seven Yemeni sailors. In this operation, the SATI played a crucial role in combating Somali pirates. Given its central role, even on the international stage, joining the SAT is understandably no easy feat. It is known that to enter this unit, there is a training period of 50 weeks involving various aspects. This includes physical, mental, and weapon handling skills. One of their most famous training methods is the frogman training, where all prospective personnel must swim silently with their hands and feet bound. This frogman training method is considered highly effective for supporting underwater attack operations. Shifting from the Turkish Navy to their Air Force, there is a special unit known as Personnel Kurtama. The role of this special unit is personnel rescue. This includes the rescue of pilots, soldiers, government officials, and other members. The rescue operations conducted by Personnel Kurtama are known for their lack of boundaries as they are prepared to carry out rescues even in enemy territories or in extreme conditions such as evacuations in snowy mountains. The dedication of the Personnel Kurtama is aptly reflected in their motto, Heroes save the homeland, we save the heroes. The role of Personnel Kurtama closely resembles that of the United States Pararescue. To join this unit, military personnel must be ready to undergo training for 53 weeks. Although primarily a rescue unit, the tasks of Personnel Kurtama are far from simple, hence they are equipped with the finest weapons. Their arsenal includes the Glock 19 pistol, the HK416 assault rifle, the MP5 submachine gun, and the M110 sniper rifle. Apart from Personnel Kurtama, Turkey has another specialized unit for rescue operations known as AKIP. While Personnel Kurtama focuses on rescuing military personnel and Turkish VIPs, AKIP is tasked with rescuing civilians and ordinary people. This task distribution in Turkey ensures that rescue efforts are comprehensive and not biased toward any one group. Discussing Turkey's special forces, one must not forget another unique unit, the Özel Görev Kuvveti Komutanlı OGKK, which translates to Special Task Force Command. The OGKK is unique as it is not a part of the Army, Navy or Air Force, but a special unit formed by Turkey to perform military roles in Northern Cyprus. The OGKK represents the command of the security forces of the Turkish Republic. Republic of Northern Cyprus, showcasing Turkey's specialized military capabilities in various domains. It's important to note that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus TRNC, is a unique state, recognized only by Turkey and not acknowledged by any other country in the world. The TRNC declared its unilateral independence in 1983 following Turkey's intervention to prevent Greece's annexation attempt in 1974. As the primary supporter of the TRNC's independence, Turkey plays a crucial role in nurturing this republic, which has a population of about 382,000. Turkey's support encompasses various sectors, including the economy, politics, and the military, the latter represented by the Special Forces OGKK we've been discussing. Within the OGKK, there are various ranks of soldiers, from officers to elite troops. The importance of soldiers in the OGKK is not just about their understanding of weaponry and warfare to counter internal and external threats in Northern Cyprus, but also their role in education. As a guardian, Turkey uses the OGKK as the main military trainer for Northern Cyprus. This training includes firearm use, mine neutralization techniques, and technology introduction. Turkey also contributes other professions like doctors and chefs to support all operations conducted in Northern Cyprus. Turkey's involvement in Northern Cyprus has been criticized by the United Nations Security Council, deemed unethical by some. However, Turkey continues its support for the government of Northern Cyprus to this day, illustrating its commitment to the TRNC despite international criticism.